case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2000, the Supreme Court case Dickerson v. United States focused on whether Congress could change the rule established by Miranda v. Arizona, which requires police to give suspects Miranda warnings before questioning. This decision held that any statements made without this warning could not be used as evidence in both state and federal courts. The case emerged when Dickerson, indicted for bank robbery, moved to suppress a statement he had made without being given his Miranda rights. While the district court granted his motion to suppress, the Court of Appeals reversed the decision, arguing that Congress had the power to determine the admissibility of statements. However, the Supreme Court ultimately held that Congress could not overrule Miranda, and therefore reversed the Court of Appeals' decision, upholding the district court's suppression of Dickerson's statement. The court maintained that the Miranda protections were still valid, and any statements made without proper warnings were inadmissible as evidence. Despite disagreement with Miranda's reasoning, the Supreme Court upheld the principle of stare decisis, refusing to overrule the established protections. The ruling also allowed for the possibility that Congress or states could create alternative solutions to Miranda warnings, as long as they were equally effective in informing accused people of their rights. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.